Man, I love playing PC games, but I'm constantly stuck playing them at my desk. I mean, I really wish that there was some way I could just, you know, do this gaming thing on PC wirelessly for an affordable price. What are you doing? Why are you using a wired controller, noob? Do yourself a favor and get a wireless controller. <laughs> Trolly Van Trollington, King of the Trolls, and I have a gift for you, you peasant. <laughs> well, thanks, Mr. Von Trollington. I'm gonna check this out, but in the meantime, just leave my house. I don't know how you got in here, but hopefully you find the same way out. This time, but you will never be able to get rid of a troll. <laughs> hey there, guys, it's Marcus from It's Up and Running, and today we are going to be looking at a affordable wireless PC controller. Mm. All right, so this controller is called the GameSir T4 Pro Wireless Controller. I got this from Amazon for about $35.99. It's still actually available on Amazon. Uh, today, I'm going to review it. I'm going to go over three pros, three cons, a comparison, and a verdict. So... Let's get started with those pros. The pros for this controller are kind of hard to narrow down to three, just because this is a very, very good controller. Um, but I'm going to try to uh, separate them based on aesthetics, um, features, and a uh, setup. So aesthetically, I guess you could say pro number one, this controller I think it looks very, 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 very good. Um, it has like the the amount of glowing lights and everything else, as as you can see here. Um, it is very comfortable to hold and uh, to use. Uh, the build quality, it's pretty sturdy. I mean, this is a very solid filling controller. Um, yeah, and just all around, I mean, it is very comfortable and very easy to use. Now, features. Okay. A big thing that I was looking for when picking out this controller was the rechargeable battery, which this has a USB-C rechargeable battery, um, and remappable buttons on the back. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can zoom in to get those buttons, but on the back of each side, there's two buttons, like there's one, two, and then on the other side, there's a one and a two. But the remappable buttons are a pretty good feature. Um, the third thing, well, the third pro is that this is very easy to set up. Mm, yeah, and I mean, there are options uh, to set this up to work with a switch, um, a iPhone, a Android phone, and a USB dongle. So I guess you could say that there's three different things that this can be hooked up to. In short, this controller is great. I mean, it was hard to kind of cut it down to three pros, but I think I managed to do it. So, good job. <laughs> So, on to the cons. The first con 
is this controller is made by GameSir. I have no idea who GameSir is. I've never heard of them before I bought this controller. I checked out the reviews on Amazon. They were pretty good, but I don't know anything about GameSir. Um, but if they make stuff like this, hopefully I'll get to know their products better throughout the years. Second con is that the controller disconnects, in my opinion, a little bit fast. And I think it does that to preserve the battery because it's a rechargeable battery. But I really wish that there was some way to actually change that um, and to make the disconnect time just a little bit uh, longer. Uh, the third con is that there are not many color options for this controller. So as you can see, this is black. This was the only color I found for this controller. <laughs> um, it would be great if there were other colors. I mean, especially since this black is kind of uh, translucent. I mean, I think that this would be like amazing for other colors. And actually, just a side tangent. I want more translucent electronics. I love translucent electronics. I really wish my phone was translucent. I think that that would be crazy cool. But it's not translucent, so I just gotta stick with, I guess, one of those cases that, where it looks like the phone is kind of translucent, but it's not. But, yeah, that would be the third con, is that I really wish that there were more color variations or else different options. Um, as far as the design of this controller goes. All right, now on to the comparison. So to compare the lovely, oh, wait a second, see, it turned off, got turned back on. I'm gonna compare it to the controller that I was using before, which is this lovely bad boy, I call it, the Minecraft Xbox controller, but the official name of it is um, the Power A Enhanced Wireless Controller for Xbox. So this is the same price on Amazon of $34.99, well, I guess it's $1 cheaper uh, than this wireless controller. Um, this controller, as you can see, it is wired, but as you can probably also see, it's a pretty cool design. Plus, on top of that, this controller is shaped almost exactly like the Xbox One controller series. So, yeah, I mean, if you care a whole lot about color options, this series of controller by Power A has a bunch of different options. Uh, the drawbacks, though, are that... This controller is wired. You are always going to be limited by how far the ML wire can go. Plus, on top of that, because this is a USB wired controller, it's going to have some other limitations as far as what you can hook it up to. So, some cell phones may be out of the question. The Switch, I'm not quite sure about that one, but that one may be out of the question too without an adapter. Another big thing to have mentioned, actually, I'm gonna put this one down. There. Is that this one also has buttons on the back. Ooh. Buttons on the back. Cool. But these buttons are not actually mappable. They are already pre-mapped to the buttons on the front. So, if you're playing a game and let's say instead of pressing the Y button up here, you can map the Y button to one of these buttons on the back. Now, I could see completely how that would be useful, but I guess, I mean, it is mapping, but the mapping is not really, I guess you'd say, that useful. Let's go on over to a verdict. If you are looking for a great wireless PC controller or else a controller for your phone or for your tablet um, and you are willing to sacrifice color options um, and a headphone jack because I didn't I'm gonna mention that but I'll mention it here there is no headphone jack on the bottom of this controller unlike the I guess you'd say the power a spec 
uh, controller. But if you are willing to compromise those things, as in the color options and the headphone jack, this controller is a great option. This is probably one of my favorite controllers that I've ever purchased. And trust me when I say I've purchased a lot of controllers. But this controller is great. Um, if you want something that is wired or something that feels exactly like the Xbox One line of controllers, um, I would say to go with the Power A spec. Um, both of these controllers cost the same, but this controller has a lot more features and is a lot more, well, turn it off again, turn it back on. It's like, come on, like, give me the option to fix that. I will say get this controller if you have to get something that's wireless and for your computer or for your phone. Eh, voila. Um, I would also like to say, game sir, good job. I will call this a flawless victory. Ugh, finally worked that joke in. I've been thinking of that joke for a long time, but I just got it in, so it's like, oh, I can't believe I got that in there. Yes! I'll see you next week. Have a great week. Be productive. Be inquisitive. And yeah, I mean, have a good time. Bye-bye.